are now tuned in to Insight Sundays, the show that brings you relevant news, youth topics with a new mission and focus for our community. What's going on, Indianapolis? It's your main man, Adrian Mickens, with my co-star, co-host, David Kegler. And once again, we want to appreciate everybody for tuning in to the Harambee production of Insight Sundays here on AM 1310 The Light. As always, we have a spectacular show for you guys today. We're going to kick this show off with a phenomenal, phenomenal stage play that's going to be hitting the city of Indianapolis towards the end of this month. And that's going to be school days. We have our guests here in the house. But right before we do that, I definitely got to give a sponsorship shout out to all of our sponsors, which is Buttons and Bows Hair Salon, Bethesda Temple. Southeast Campus, Arnest Men's Wear, Studio 14 Hair Salon, Sam Mass Music Store. Also, we have Fishers of Men's Ministry. They also have a stage play going on called The Lost and Found, November 18th and the 19th, 7 p.m., 1 o'clock, Ivy Tech at the Lawrence Campus. Any questions, call Tanya at 985-9331. Also, reaching out to Redemption Outreach Service. They're going to have an arts and music in the park, Garfield Park to be specific, on the 29th of October from 12 to 6 p.m. Any questions or Contact info, go to indie slash R-O-S-I dot org. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the show. On the line now, we have the producer himself and director, DeMarcus. Are you there, DeMarco? Hi. Yeah, Antoine DeMarco. How you doing, brother? Pretty good, man. How you doing, my brother? I'm doing wonderful, man. I'm sorry that it's kind of windy where I'm at. I have just had an event hosting at the uh, Paul Brown Stadium at the Cincinnati Bengals game, so forgive the wind, please. Uh, oh, that, that's all, all right, right, man. That means right. you're working. That's all right, man. That's all right. So we got your actors in the house today who's going to be a part of the School Days play. Go ahead and state your names, everybody. The one and only Anthony Jewell playing D, Big Brother Almighty. All right. Oh, right. Brother Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Lauren Nalon, and I play the role of Rachel, Dap's girlfriend. Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Marcus, and I'll be playing Half Pint. All right. So mm-hmm. that's all the guests in the house for all of our actors. And again, we have DeMarcus on the line. So, I mean, so tell me a little bit about what the play is. Uh, obviously, we already know what the movie is, but how did everything come about? How did you put everything together? And how long have you been doing your thing here in the city? Uh, I've been in Indianapolis, uh, I want to say roughly about five years, on and off uh, from Philadelphia. Uh, School Day speaks for itself. It's a slightly joint. We make the adaption uh, the uh, uh, film to a stage production. And again, it's self-explanatory. It's film been out. I believe almost 20, 25 years. Just had an anniversary, man. So that's kind of where it's at. We've been working on this production um, since May. Uh, TJ Tajadine, uh, he's the director of the production, so he's been diligently working on this production uh, for the uh, past three months. I'm yes. past, I'm sorry, since, uh, since May, so I do my calculation, roughly about six <laughs> months, I want to say. So let me ask you this, because I, I know, I, I think I've been to maybe a couple of your plays that you've done prior in the past. Did you do one called The Color Purple 2 here in Indianapolis? No, that was by choice. Um, we did uh, For Color Girls, okay. and we did uh, Waiting to Excel, the uh, stage production. I'm known mainly for the stage production entitled Philadelphia. Got gotcha. you. I see, I see, I see. So I'm going to go around here to our uh, with our panelists here today, and we're going to go through one at a time to see uh, their acting careers and how they got into the industry, their break, and how did you guys, uh, you know, meet uh, DeMar- uh, DeMarco and, and all that good stuff. So we're going to start with you, my man. Uh, hey, Adrian, right. if I may, real quick, uh-huh. Adrian, I'm going through mountains, so if I lose your brother, I will be calling you guys back to FYI, okay? Okay, got gotcha. you. Thank you. Well, uh, Everybody, this is uh, this is Marcus, and uh, actually, my first time uh, acting, I was actually in a musical called uh, Five, The Five Heartbeats. Uh-huh. I don't okay. know if you guys saw it, um, and it was one of my favorite movies, right? Yeah, it's one of your favorite yeah, movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, and it was it was mind blowing. It was my first time on stage in front of a lot of people, and uh, it, I loved it. And it's funny how I met uh, Demarco. We actually used to work together. Gotcha. At, at Amazon, and he always Ooh, told me, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> You know about Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. Everybody is serving their time in one of those places. Amazon, FedEx, and you can get Man. Uh, but it's funny. I ran into him. I used to, you know, joke around a lot. And um, he always told me, he said, man, you need to do some acting. You need to do some acting. I'm like, nah, man, I'm cool, man. I don't want to do no acting. I'm, I'm kind of legit where I'm at right now. You know, I work 9 to 5, taking care of my family and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and so after I did... Um, Five Heartbeats, he came backstage. He said, yo, Marcus, you told me you didn't want to act. And I was like, and I was like, oh, man. I said, well, I'm here, so what's up? He said, hey, yo, we need to hook up. 
I got some stuff for you. I got major, major plans in store for you. And I'm like, all right, you know, that's what's up. So I'm here, and I've been I've been rocking with him for about a good two years now, man. Yes. Two years now. Yes, sir. Awesome, yes, sir. awesome, awesome. So our next. This is Lauren, uh -huh. and um, the first play that I did uh, all throughout high school, I was involved in show choir. So we did a lot of productions and a lot of plays. My first time meeting DeMarco, I actually attend Mount Zion Apostolic Church. Um, and at that time, he was doing the Philadelphia play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, kind of lost contact after that, but we were reconnecting when my boyfriend started um, participating in his production. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's sweet. laughs> when he started participating in his productions, and this is actually my first time um, working with him, and it's just been a great experience. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, uh, my name's Anthony Jewell. Like I said, I will be playing Dean Big Brother Almighty. And um, I actually started my acting career after my football career was cut short. Uh, so, yeah. Wide receiver. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I was actually DB. Yeah. Okay. You know, <laughs> shutting boys down on that island over there. But uh, after that was cut short, man, it was real crazy, man. I signed up for a little class. I thought we was going to be watching movies in theater class. Come to find out, we was doing a lot of hands-on acting. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just fell in love with the craft, the art. Uh, my first show was in high school, so I've been doing it for a while now. Uh, me and DP, we actually met through Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, the first time we actually met in person was for the audition for School Days. Gotcha. He was just blown away, mm -hmm. man. He said, um, I know Julian's a light-skinned brother, but um, I think they can get past your color after yeah. they see you acting. So, <laughs> it's going to be a good show, man. Uh, like I said, man, we do have a dark-skinned brother playing Almighty. Um, other productions, we got, uh, like he said, Philadelphia. We're going to be doing that, so that's going to be another production me and DP is going to be working a part of. Other okay. than that, man, right. it's going to be a great show, man. Well, let, right. let, let's get the address out there real quick before I ask you the, uh, the next question, DeMarco. So where, where specifically is the play going to be held that here in the next couple of weeks we're going to be at dr andrew j brown academy which is on the east side on 3600 i believe north german church mm -hmm. um it's, it's going to be friday uh, through sunday friday showtime which is october 28th 7 30 saturday i mean sorry friday is eight o'clock okay. saturday 7 30 and sunday at six o'clock gotcha okay. gotcha okay. gotcha so let me ask you this question here how can somebody, if, if they inspire to be an actor or an actress, how can they be a part of your production? Because it seems like your team that you got here, man, they got much respect for you, man, on, on the highest level. So how can somebody hey, get a part of, of what you got going on? Yes. Uh, plenty of times the best way to contact me will be through DP DeMarco Plays on Facebook. Okay. Send me an inbox. And what happens is Taja Dean, TJ, the guy that's directing the production, he's also my acting coach. I want to say one of the top in the city. Uh, and that's coming from me, coming from Chicago, Philadelphia, New York, L.A. This mm -hmm. guy, Indianapolis, we have a jewel, man, uh, acting coach. So that's the best way to contact us. And even if you are a new actor or an aspiring actor, we can make sure we can polish you up and get you ready uh, for stage and also as we're getting ready to go into film. That's mm -hmm. awesome, man. I'm going to turn over to my partner here, Dave, real quick. All right. So I got a question for each of you. What is something that you do to get ready for your role? Now, you ain't got to give away the Wu-Tang secret, <laughs> but what, what, what's something special that you do to get ready for your role? Uh, let's see. <laughs> something special. I wouldn't say it was special, but... Uh, the biggest thing with me, uh, Big Brother Almighty, was that big party had down the middle. So my haircut is what pretty much got me into my role. Once I seen the haircut evolving, because I'm more of a 360, you know, wave kind of guy, not a box, not a box kind of guy. So I mean, once I got the box, you know, going and I seen it shaping up, I'm like, okay, I guess I can't get into this character Almighty. And the, the haircut really just helped me lock in all the way into the character. Okay. So I can already tell you hers. Hers is green M&M's. Yeah. <laughs> Star on the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Got to make sure everything's right. Bro. Not too hot in the room. Sparkling not too water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, um, one thing that really helped me um, get into the role of Rachel was I watched School Days more than once. Mm -hmm. You have to study the character and really get to know them. And then, um, of course... With her, she's natural. You know, in today's society, being natural is kind of like the <laughs> in style. But me, you know, I like my weave. <laughs> so I'm struggling over here. But um, it was definitely just watching school days and actually studying her. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Marcus? Oh, with me, uh, it was 
it was actually watching School Days. Um, believe it or not, I've never actually seen the movie until I got cast into the play. Mm-hmm. Uh, but my wife, my wife and I, we sat down. Shout out to Jasmine Elliott. I know you listening, baby. I love you. So I'm to get a quick shout out. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, yeah, we sat down and watched it, and uh, and it's funny because like. Half Pine, he's like, uh, he's he's very shy, and he's trying to be in the in crowd. And mm-hmm. with me, I'm, you know, I'm funny. Yeah. You no, know, I do, I do stand up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and <laughs> he's not really a, he's not that type of person. So getting into this, uh, it was kind of, it, it, it was hard. But my wife helped me out. That's it, cool. was, it was pretty good. Yeah. Hey, one more question, Demarco. Do you actually come out on stage and perform as well? I'm sorry, one more time. I had, I had to take the phone off uh, mute. I'm sorry. One more time. I'm sorry. Okay. Do you actually get out on the stage and perform as well? You know, like uh, Quentin Tarantino, you know, he'll do a small <laughs> role in his movies. Yeah, you know, pop up, you know. So do you, do you actually come out? I gave up my cameos, out? man. I think I gave up my cameos, man. Only because uh, I do this in Indianapolis, Philadelphia, uh, Los Angeles also, getting ready to start off in Cincinnati. So with that, man, I got to be creative in regards to what I'm doing. So I kind of took myself away from the stage. I miss it, man. I miss it big time. But no, no, no cameos for myself. Now, mm-hmm. quick, quick question to you, DeMarco. Are you going to do something like a, like a growth thing like Tyler Perry did? Are you getting into films at all, or are you just going to stay with plays for a while? Uh, great question, man. What we're getting ready to do now, uh, I, have a, I have three original pieces I wrote. We have Philadelphia which has been the longest. I have a play called Brenda's Got a Baby, mm. um, which, is, which is based Lucy's off Tupac's Brenda. Um, Brenda Got a Baby, but again, we know Brenda didn't make the baby by herself. Mm-hmm. So I want to kind of go into mm-hmm. that story. And then the other piece that I have is called Dear Diary, He Beats Me Because He Loved Me, and it's a question mark. Mm-hmm. What we're doing right now, we're taking Dear Diary, He Beats Me Because He Loved Me, and making it an actual film adaption, which is done by... Um, I, I'm going to say this. I love to bring up new directors and new, uh, uh, new, new people in leadership. So uh, a young lady by the name of Danza Townsend, she's actually my business manager for All Stone Aspiring Director. So she's going to be directing that film on Dear Diary. He beats me because he loved me. All right. so that's what we're doing now, getting ready to take all our plays and make them films. All right, we appreciate that. So one last time, we're going to go ahead and transition over to the next segment. Uh, but right before we do that, please tell everybody once again where the play is, the time, the date, and where they can purchase the tickets at. You got it. The tickets, you guys, are only 25 bucks uh, uh, for the production itself. Uh, it's going to be at Dr. Andrew J. Brown Academy, which is on the east side of Indianapolis at 3600, I believe, North German Church Road. Um, the showtime is Friday. is at 8 o'clock, Saturday, 730, and then Sunday, uh, we're doing it at 6 o'clock. Uh, you can find tickets at the door, or you can go on our website at jamarcoplays.com. But, again, um, we, we believe the shows are going to sell out. Awesome, awesome. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we appreciate it, guys. We appreciate everybody right. in thank studio you. today. Thank you guys you, are awesome. You. And we're going to go ahead and go to break. Break a leg. <laughs> Welcome back, Indianapolis. It's your main man once again, Adrian Mickens, here with my co-star, co-host. Kegler. And once again, we're going to go ahead and transition over to our second part of the show of Insight Sundays. Today in studio, we have a fabulous, fantastic, great, up-and-coming, if not already there, gospel artist here in the city by the name of Jay Harris, how's it going, Jay? Hey, Harris. what's up, everybody? <laughs> what's up, Indianapolis? This is Jay Harris. It's a blessing to be here. Thank you so much for having me on today, man. No problem at all. And also in studio, we have his manager in the house. If you can state your name for us, what's going on, family? This is your boy DeAndre Pope. How y'all DeAndre doing today? Pope. <laughs> awesome, awesome, man. So we're gonna go ahead and cut kind of sort of right to the chase, man. You got something dropping. You got something coming out right now. I believe this is kind of like your third or fourth project that you're doing. So what's this one called, and what's going? On. I have a, a brand new CD coming out. It's uh, it's being released uh, to the world November fourth, mm-hmm. but you can get it early if you come to my CD release concert on October thirtieth. Yes, uh, yes, that will yes. be that will be a new direction in church under the pastoral ship of the great Kenneth Sullivan Jr. Uh, and uh, I'll be having it there October 30th, 6 o'clock p.m. in the evening. That's awesome. So That's tell, tell me your all-star lineup, man. I'm pretty sure you got some opening acts because <clears throat> you almost at that status, man. So who's your opening acts? Oh, my God. Uh, I have an amazing worship leader. Uh, he's wrote, He's written some amazing music. His name is Larry Wilson. Okay. 
Uh, I have a an amazing spoken word artist slash rapper. Y'all had him on the on the show last week. Uh, yep, yep, yeah. Right, yeah. And uh, and then I have an amazing worship leader slash songwriter slash everything, Angela Amos. And she uh, she has a group called Limitless, and so they're all gonna be they're all gonna be there. They're all gonna be supporting, and it's just gonna be a, a wonderful night. Of fun and worship. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, while we're still on the air right now, I want to let everybody know in my hand, and you can follow us on Facebook right now on Insight Sundays, Facebook Insight Sundays. I have two free tickets. Two free tickets. Yeah, Mr. J. Harris wants to give to his concert CD release party. So call in. At give this us a time, call if you, you want to call in. Our producer will take your name down. This is about the only time I do take calls on the show. So call in. He's going to take your name, and we're going to get your, your tickets. You can come down to the station and pick up your tickets. So, moving on to the next part, I want to get with the manager here. What's the name of the record label, the company? What we got going on, man? Well, what's going on? Yeah, the name of the label is uh, More Than Music. It's actually comprised of Shalandon, who was here last week, mm-hmm. Jay Harris, and myself. We uh, sat down, I want to say about two years ago, and we talked about having an opportunity to provide opportunities for Indianapolis artists to do some great things because we had a few connections here and there. Um, we were making some things happen, going to the Stellar Awards and doing mm-hmm. some things at a couple of different events. And we wanted to share that knowledge that we had with other individuals. So we created More Than Music, which is literally exactly what it is. We're not just artists. Uh, we're not just rappers or just singers. We are yes. ministers in this thing. We're actually in the trenches, actually doing things in our churches. One of our big things that we talk about doing is being active wherever it is that we are, being active where you serve um, it's just not a good thing just to sit where you serve you gotta be active so, exactly right. so that's, Absolutely. What, that's what more than music is we're really excited where empty is the new fool so. we, we, we definitely uh, are all about uh, more action and less talking Absolutely, and that's sir. exactly what it is now you know we always complain about the youth and I'm gonna be honest it's our fault it's Absolutely. our fault if you complain what are you doing to make sure that they're getting to the next level yes, sir. Uh, to yes, assist sir. and to help them so the reason why man why I say you you at that star status man I'm looking here man at your press kit man we talking Kurt Franklin you open up for and some other mainstream artists man so how did this stuff come about man how, t- tell us about these performances man how did that stuff go it's just God it's just God opening doors man you know uh, I really believe it's so many talented people in this city. You have the Demetrius West of the world. You mm-hmm. have the Randy Westons, mm-hmm. the Judah Band of the world. Mm-hmm. People, acts that should be national acts. Yes. But they're here in the city. Yeah. And, you know, it's just, it's really an honor to just to be alongside them mm-hmm. and to be able to, and to be able to say I know them, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But it's just like different opportunities come up. Uh, I think a couple years back at a, there was a, uh, what was it, Pope? Which one? The Butler Gospel Explosion? The Butler Gospel Explosion, mm-hmm. where basically it's really just, it's DeAndre just reaching out early because they they always looking for acts. Yes. And so it's just, mm-hmm. you know, you just just send them your music, say, mm-hmm. hey, you know, can can we open up for you? And, and you know, because they're always looking for acts. So That's it's awesome. just it's just about not just having a talent, but all, not just, you know, but also reaching out and kind of, you know, getting your feet in the door, you know, actually doing the footwork to, you know, because it's a lot of talented people, but it's really yes. the people who kind of go after it, you Correct. know, that's, that a lot of times get opportunities. And it's, you know? and it's definitely trying time to open up this gospel market to really let people know that there's mm-hmm. good, talented people who's out there, much like Shalana himself, who has an awesome flow, you that's know, yeah. but he's speaking about. God, his mission, and his word, which makes it all the more better and all the more the difference uh, between the other, you know, the secular rappers, though, as they call it. So, Dave? Mm -hmm. One thing, too, is hopefully we can start getting some of our local artists with the gospel music played because Mm -hmm. there's a lot of it out here, and I know that there's a lot of channels to go through that as well, but it's here, and it needs to be heard. Yeah. You know, I really, really believe, you know, that uh, online radio is one thing, but if you can get your stuff played on terrestrial radio, that's just like, it's like every independent artist's dream. To yeah. be able to just go up to a radio station, hey, can you play my stuff on your mm-hmm. on your local artist hour? Yes. You know, and yeah. we we I know I'm speaking for all of the independent artists in this city when I say we wish 1310 had something like that. Yeah. You know, where it's just like, hey, just an hour of independent artists. Do you understand just how that would bless so many local artists? Yeah, it would just be a mm-hmm. blessing to so many of us. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're Absolutely. really we're really really waiting and praying and pushing for something like that. Mm-hmm. You know, because we would love that. So my question for you also is, 
Obviously, you've been doing this for a while. When did you realize, like, hey, I got a talent, but you know what? I'm just not going to just be, you know, a next rapper. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the word and rap with the word. I would say, I would say that point came my, my freshman year in college. You know how sometimes when you, I actually went away to college. I went to Atlanta. I went to Morris Brown College. And, uh, the Honorable Morris Brown. The Honorable <laughs> Morris Brown College. And really, that was, a, that was a turning point in my life. Because you know how, really, college for every, for every young person is a turning point in their life. You know, where you go away from home, where you, where you really, it's on you. You know, you don't really have people pushing you or telling you what to do anymore. What the decisions that you make is really on you. And, and that was really when I really really started taking my relationship with Christ much more seriously and actually started doing and working, you know, for God's kingdom, you know, and that was when I really decided that's what I, that's what I wanted to do. You know, so. awesome. All, right. All right. So it is about that time where I always say talk is one thing, but action is everything. And people want to actually hear what Jay Harris sounds like. So can yeah. you give us a verse live here on the mic to let the world know what you sound like? Okay, sure, yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, DeAndre wanted me to sing a, a, a little bit of the new single, but I'm going to sing uh, some of some of one of my oldest songs, the one I sung to you. It's a, it's a song called It Won't. I'm just going to sing the chorus for you. Mm -hmm. So it goes, hold on, be strong, press on, don't let go. Cause it's gonna get better It's gonna work out Oh, it's gonna work out Oh, it's gonna work out Oh, for your good It's working It's working It's working For your good that's what all I'm right. talking about, man. All Natural right. talent all the way around the border. That's what I'm talking about, man. So, once again, I do appreciate you guys coming in studio. We want to let everybody know where they can find your album first and then where they can go find the concert at that's going to be coming up here in a week or so. Yeah, so if you are interested in, in uh, picking up any of my music, you can find it online on all vendors. It's on Amazon. It's on iTunes. It's on Google Play. Uh, you can find it on Spotify, all of the streaming services. You can find it all there. The name of my first CD is uh, J. Harris, My Destiny, Volume 1. And the next one that will be on there is called J. Harris, Your Way. And I really, really would love you guys to support. This Sunday, October the 30th at 6 p.m., I will be having a CD release concert at New Direction Church. And I would love for you guys to come and support. We'll be singing all original music. All of the opening acts, they'll be doing original music. And we would love for you guys to come and support us. That's awesome. And again, that direction to New Direction uh, Church is 5330 East 38th Street. Once again, that's 5330 East 38th Street. Uh, once again, some of those guests will be LeBron Wilson. We got Angela Amos. We got Limitless and Shalandon Walker will all be in the house. Again, if you do want the ticket, Tickets for the concert. I'm looking at them here right now. Go ahead and call in Give or us find us on Facebook Live at Insight Sundays. Once again, that's Facebook Live at Insight Sundays or any other social media platform you can find us at, which is Instagram, Insight Sundays, Snapchat at Insight Sundays, or Twitter at Insight Sundays. Any last questions, David? No. Nope. All right, so at this time of the program of the show, we're going to end it out with the word, as we always do, from Miss Danielle. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Amen. All right. all right. So once again, this has been another great edition of Insight Sundays presented by Harambe Production. I'm your main man, Adrian Mickens. We'll check you out next week.